All right, guys, welcome back. I'm out here with Lisa. When I walked up to her, she was uh, eating some breakfast. Mm -hmm. So she had a good meal. What would you have right now? I had a sandwich and some Funyuns and a quarter drink of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And how old are you, Lisa? How old am I? I'm 29. 29, okay. Um, and are you homeless right now? How long you been homeless? Four years already. Four years? I think like wow. three years, two years. How was life like before homelessness? Um, it was fine. I got, I went to rehab. I got clean. And then um, met somebody. And then um, um, he had to go away for a little bit and after the split up. I felt like alone and it just went downhill. And then I was on drugs and whatnot. But yeah, um, yeah, I would say um, my dad helped me because I wasn't fit for being a mom. And um, due to um, how my apartment turned out and whatnot. But after that, I don't know, I just be on the streets. Yeah. Did things that I, I would regret. And it would like traumatize me in my head. And um, yeah, that part. And it kind of haunts me to this day. Yeah, that part, the trade and whatnot, but I feel like still trying to get over it. And um, before you went to rehab, did you, like, have you worked before? Um. No, I was mostly like, yeah, I was mostly a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was, that's when I was with the father and my kids. Oh, okay. And um, before you went to rehab, what what led to rehab? Like, what caused you to go to rehab? Mm. I think um, myself, actually, I don't know. Not that I wasn't tired of it, just something just pushing it, yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, my dad could tell me about it. And then so he says I'm a full blown druggie or whatever. But um I don't know. Yeah. And what were you using at the time? I was on heroin back then. Oh, H. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Heroin and then I turned mess. For the first time, I was single. And yeah. And so, what happened to your boyfriend at the time? Did you get in trouble? Mm, no. Oh, okay. You had to go away, I guess. Oh, okay. I was then I didn't find a boyfriend. I got caught. I don't think about guys like that, but there's times where I like I feel like I need somebody, but there's no attraction or affection or that. That is still like a certain somebody, but I don't know. Yeah. And since you've been homeless within the four years, um, how's that been for you? Struggle. Yeah. Up and down. Are you used to it by now? A little bit. Sometimes I give up and be like, um, I have something trying to help me. But then, with all due respect and everything, um, like I just need like a, I need a certain somebody. I need like I need my own comfort and stuff. Yeah. To find myself again. Yeah. And when I was talking with you, you said that um, you had that comfort with with the, your boyfriend mm -hmm. at the time, right? Yeah. And so when that's when that's gone, like it it it's kind of like you still need something to fill that void, that sadness, the heartbreak, mm -hmm. loneliness. I understand. To be able to still have that and have like a bond yeah i'm talking from my left and my right i'll say my left side of course it's my good side and then i had got to uh, i've been through brain damage and stuff i got like beaten up on the streets and stuff so beaten up on the street mm -hmm. what Damn. i usually fight back hit back but when they would hit me i'm like yeah that's weird i wouldn't i wouldn't yeah. that it's weird. man sorry to hear that yeah, the, 
the streets are like unpredictable, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you mentioned the the blues. How long you been doing the blues? Like three years, I think. Three years, yeah. So how would you compare the blues to H? Like um, the blues, I mean, I would say it's not it's not for me being a fiend or a drug addict, mm-hmm. but it does help me with my anxiety, depression. But it's, it's I like how it gets expensive now because um, you would ask around well, the street to help me out. Yeah. Or I could smoke on them or not. But there's certain ways how to talk and what to do to mm-hmm. get get it, you know? Even if it's not like um a full like um that I don't feel favor or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the four years that you that you've been out here, what's been the wildest, craziest day of your life? Um, feeling like no energy, feeling so dead on the inside, not being able to get up and do anything. Yeah. It's a real ugly feeling. Yeah. Have you been through any like crazy experiences out here? Um, like I know you said somebody like used to beat you up or got beat up, but. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, because it was an ex lover of mine, but I thought he was going through his own things, so like he didn't mean to take his anger on me, but he did. You know what I mean? Because it was just, it was just. I think we got taken advantage of. Yeah. And then people seem to know this certain story of me and this person or whatever, and I seem to like get big or not, but. He's in his own zone, his own world. Yeah. I'm sure he handles himself well, but. Yeah. We're on that stick. It, when was uh, the last time you went to detox? Mm. I think you said you went for like four days, right? Yeah. Four days. Ago. How long ago was that? Um, like a month ago. Yeah. Did you feel good while you're in there? I felt all right. But then I felt like I, um, I had to um, hurry up. I had to get up, but something was just on me to just to. Um, I couldn't wait to get out of there. Yeah. And then just went to the same area, wherever where I was at. But yeah. It was an excited feeling. Just. It's kind of anxious. Mm-hmm. I know how that is. When I went to, I went to so many detoxes. I went to the one downtown CBI. Mm-hmm. But there'd be times where I'd go to rehab. My first two rehabs, like, I did the program so good, so easy. You know, I was like a straight-A student, quote-unquote, in rehab. Mm. But I had my mind made up. As soon as I get out, I'm going to call my guy and Mm. smoke my stuff, you know. So I already had my mind made up on the relapse. So I get it. I get it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out myself, though. Um, Of myself, like... My movement, of course, my I should be on my areas and all that, but yeah, it'd be like laid out sometimes, you know. Yeah. What's the hardest part about being out here for you? Mm, worry about your next comfort, or your next environment, your next move. Because I'm going to be rejected before I go. So when you walk up, people are like. Like, who are you? They already come from and they look at you like, I don't know why they, they look at me like that. But it's like, wait, why do they look at me like that? Because I don't know if it's like the the fucked up energy and the ugly energy I bring. Mm-hmm. I know I'm a, I'm a real good energy. Like, I'm a good yeah. vibe person, you know? Yeah. I want to have a good vibe. Oh, yeah. Some people will understand me and get it when I'm, but I'm going to take all the good vibe and kind of save it. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have any plans of going back to detox or anything like that mm. i have to go back sometimes but just like i don't know if detox might help mm. it just i need like i feel like i need more comfort more understanding from sure. loved ones and others you know yeah that know me yeah yeah and how about um family i remember you said you spoke to your dad when was the last time you spoke to your dad 
Mm. He goes yesterday. Oh, okay. Okay. How's the relationship with him? That's fine. Um, so my dad, uh, when he got out of prison, I was on, I was on heroin. Oh, okay. I was on heroin, so when he came out, like he noticed that, um, I guess that he like lost me, and I was just in some different type of mode. Yeah, like, different mind frame. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he started like he just acted not acted differently, but I'm sure he had his reason. But yeah. he acted different with me. Yeah. So this day he acts different, and I used to be um. He's a spider He used to be his, his favorite. One of his favorites, but yeah. yeah. Uh, he probably could tell that, like, I guess you were getting high. You know, he probably noticed that. That's what he thinks. He's like, oh, what kind of high level are you on now? Hmm. You know, when I go to him, I don't mean to, like, just, I try to go to talk to him because I get just, from what I feel on my side, um, he, so he's something to go visit, you know, I mean, to go see him, but. Yeah. And then there's something that, that was a cause and effect of it, mm-hmm. but don't mean to know how to talk about it or bring it up, you know? Sure. Yeah. So when you when you wake up in the morning, um, how how are the withdrawals from the blues? Um. Because I remember on heroin. The withdrawal for me is anxiety and depression. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you get any physical and like chills effect. or anything? Um. Sometimes, yeah. I got a runny nose. Mm. My eyes get watery. But. Honestly, I don't think it's like um, a defect or whatever on the pills. Yeah. It's just something else. And then um, I say I had yeah, an accident. I felt like I had brain damage or whatever. So okay. after it was I to pee to be able to like relive again. Yeah. 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 And like, so how do you, how do you survive? How do you get by day to day? Um, I don't just say it like that, but whatever energy I have, the most of these whatever, I just go with whatever. Yeah. My mind tries to take me to. Yeah. I say what I can say the most and the least, and. Yeah. What do you think your future looks like? Hmm. I can't say that right now. Yeah. I took it day by day. Yeah, I understand. Day by day, wake up. Main objective is to to get high. And then whatever happens after that, you know. I was always the type to wake up, go get my fix. And then by any means, if I have to steal something, whatever, whatever, whatever. Do whatever it takes to to get what I need and then deal with the consequences later. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've always been that way. And that ended me up in prison. So I understand like I wasn't even worried about tomorrow, you know, so I get it. I get it. And if there was a younger Lisa out there and she was thinking about trying the blues, what would you tell her? Um, let's see. There was a younger Lisa out there. Yeah. Um, let's say, um, trust in yourself, your own gut, your own feeling, whatever good vibes you have, stay with that. Just as long as the energy you feel from somebody, just stay away from that the best you can and don't let anybody bring you down. All right. All right. Thank you, Lisa.